all right um, hey guys uh, in this video I'm gonna show off some cool tricks that I had here uh, this is using um, this is using web component a custom component uh, this is a plain vanilla JavaScript uh, if you can see here this is an HTML using plain JavaScript and okay so here a blah square we have a button here and then when you click that button it's going to re-render uh, the HTML and the render is here so it's gonna render again itself and then add an animator here okay so just some cool tricks here that I created so there's a square this is the square I put some style and then the h3 here the title and the title can be set here and this one here this is the custom dialogue that we a uh, custom element that we created and we have the title here here the observe attributes and we put a, a hello here we can still uh, we can put here j3x here and it will change to j3x here and there's our rotating um, square and this one here is a toggle to t switch it off okay so it will not animate it will not rotate and then uh, when we click this again, it will rotate again. And stop, rotate, stop. And this is using um, custom element. And what this means is we can use this to as a component for our Angular and React. So if you go to our this one here in our NX so where is our nx yep here go to shared components and then if we nx serve it will serve both a our angular app and our react app and no 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 it will not serve both because both are set to run for four two zero zero so let's serve angular first and then next is we're going to serve we're going to serve the uh, react app so go to shared components and next serve react app so, so it's going to serve both and then we don't we will not touch this because we already set it up so we're just going to change this part here all right so let's yeah let's remove this and then just paste what we did here all right call this uh, copy that and then paste it here so that that's gonna be shared to yeah i guess we have to remove this yeah remove that uh-huh so they don't have query selector button what's that Oh yeah, because this is TypeScript, right? So sorry, we can still put that, but we can't put any here. Put any, put any, put any there. All right, so query selector. What's this? This query selector. Oh man. So let's then it hang.
so let's try to fix our uh, this one any and to set to any render any any here and what line 76 76 76 in any uh, should be this that any oh uh, yeah okay so okay so render here square and why can't it read this what's the error here and next angular object is possibly null so if like that we can do uh, okay so that is running and if we go to our local host for two zero zero no it's running stop run okay so this is in angular and if we run our go back to the little ball cdnx exercise then shared component nx serve react app okay so once that is served oh no we should have it in port 3200 zero. Okay, that it's not breaking this one here. Alright. Okay, so we have three two zero zero and we have four two zero zero and the our three two zero zero is our React app and kaboom. Stop go stop go stop go right so there you go guys so React and Angular sharing the same component. Boom, yep. boom, yep. right, cool. All right, guys, so uh, hope that helps. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, we are eight minutes. We still have time. Okay. Next time, uh, next is we're going to put some um, images here in SVG to make it more cool, cooler. Right, guys. Thanks. Bye.